All right, let's get into your messages, fire sign. Welcome back to Emperor's Light, Tarot, Sagittarius. We're going to get into your love energies and see what you need to know in the matters of the heart. What spirit is willing to relate to the cardamancy. Don't forget to come into the reading, like in the video. Subscribe to the channel if what you hear here or see here resonates for you. Even if it doesn't resonate and you like the sound of my voice and enjoy my storytelling, check out the other Sagittarius readings on the channel. You may find some clarification there. It's like a store. You can have whatever you like. It's like those weird stores, hole in the wall places with the antiques, right? Actually a tarot store or like one of those spiritual stores. Come into my store. We have a lot to see here. <laughs> Let's get into it. Message for the sage guru today, spirit. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? Love and romance messages for Sagittarius. Ooh, we have a jumper. Fear here, the wounded warrior. That's your energy, right? A traveler. Hmm. Any more jumpers? All right, no jumpers. Let's get into your message. Grounding your reading is the King of Swords. That's interesting. All right, someone that's coming in to match your wit here. This may even be someone to come in and teach you something here. King of Swords is Aquarius energy, so it's free thinking energy. Ooh, the Queen of Swords. Like I said, someone coming in to match your energy. Am I psychic or am I not psychic? So your divine counterpart here. Yeah, you've gone through a long journey. Mm -hmm. Could be some sort of a self-love journey, some sort of a healing journey. The wounded warrior is often on a healing journey. All right, so definitely your twin flame, divine counterpart, showing up here as support for you or to help you heal. This person is very independent, very inspirational. Yeah, like I, I was saying, let me... Did not, did not, did not, not say all this in the beginning of the reading, right? Is an Aquarius, right? <laughs> Possibly a writer, a thought provoker, a motivational speaker, or something like that. Blogger, blogger, content creator, someone that does not have a problem expressing their thoughts in an insightful or inquisitive way. This person may even value knowledge. You could have a librarian, lovers. God damn, this is the air sign on air sign love message. So I'm not sure if you, Sagittarius, have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius placements majorly aspected in your chart, right? Moon rising, Venus, or North Node. But you have a Gemini and Aquarius coming towards you, and the Queen of Swords is Libra, so we might as well have all three. Your last one, Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine Energy, right? Two queens, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very charismatic, very sexual, very strategic, a leader, right? This is a naturalist as well. You could be dealing with a scientist. King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, definitely abundant individual. This could be a counselor, again, a teacher, someone that's in justice or law. But this person is very stable, very independent, very luxurious, right? All the things you would expect in a divine feminine, right? Or divine masculine, take it how it resonates. These are queens, but this could definitely be a masculine uh, presence as well, right? The lovers, yin and yang. Mm -hmm. So, two major arcana. Definitely an air sign energy coming towards you. Very cerebral individual. This person may be a sapiosexual. Divine feminine empress. Very creative. Able to channel messages from the ether, right? A lot of brainstorming. Again, very creative. Possibly very sexually attractive as well. This would be like, for instance, myself. In some cases, I appear very sexually attractive, but I'm not. I would prefer people don't over-sexualize me because I'm a very cerebral person, right? Have respect for the empress. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's definitely a soulmate, divine counterpart, twin flame, whatever you want to name it, kingdom wife, kingdom husband, right? You're a forever person coming in. Not to save you, but to collaborate with you here, right? So that is what I have for you here today. A very quick and interesting reading for the Sagittarius. Uh, 
and yeah check out the other fire sign readings on the channel as well you may even want to check out the twin flame readings on the channel as your divine counterpart has a reading as support for you catch you guys on the next one peace